Well, welcome to the platform. So happy to have you. Can't even tell you how appreciative I am that you put in your trust and you're diving into what we consider is the future of AI here. Now, I'll tell you just as a precursor here, we do things a little bit different. Um, AI is very complex, but we do our very, very best to make sure that it's super, super easy to you. Sometimes the easiness uh, can almost get in the way, but I'm going to walk you through here exactly how to get set up. A to Z, I have a fresh Go High Level account. I have a fresh um, uh, new workspace like you're probably seeing right now. I'm going to show you how to completely integrate it, uh, and we're going to do our first deployment right after this. I will go through each portal. There's two portals. There's your portal as an agency where you'll be able to manage rebilling, manage your clients, um, do affiliate, look at documentation and everything. And there is the client portal, which is white labeled and it actually deploys the assistant. This is done at the sub account level, right? The whole idea is to make it super, super easy, super scalable. So I'm going to set it up with you A to Z here. And if you set it up like this, you never have to touch it again. Um, you may have already done OAuth when you onboarded, that's okay. Uh, if you miss a step, the, you're able to reset the connection just like I am here in the workspace. So I'm going to go over to my screen. We're going to get started. Now I will preface this. If you're on the $97 plan of high level, I'll have a separate video for you because it requires an extra step because you can't have marketplace accounts. But for any other plan of high level, this fully applies. So let's go ahead and go to my screen over here. Perfect and let's get started. So my fresh workspace account here, so there's a brand new account alongside you as well as a fresh high level account here, no app marketplace, nothing in here. We're gonna set it up A to Z completely together. If you do it this one time, this one way, you never have to touch it again and your deployment will be on autopilot. So we're gonna have this tab up, which is our new workspace, our new agency account, our new admin portal. And then I'm going to have high level up too so that we can bounce back and forth and do things like the custom menu. Like it just makes life a ton easier. So we just really have two steps to go ahead and start deploying into our accounts. Um, we just need to connect OAuth and we need to add our custom menu link. All right. So uh, if you haven't already, which you probably did in the onboarding was connect to high level. There's some settings in there that if you didn't do when you were on the onboarding, when you connected to high level, you may want to reset your connection. They're meant to make the deployment completely hands off. Uh, so if you see me click a button that you didn't, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you reset connection because yours will be right here and it'll say reset connection. Highly suggest that you reset connection and then click the same buttons that I do. I would say it's a requirement, but I can't make you do anything, but I promise you it'll make your life significantly easier in the future. Uh, you won't have any problems deploying into any sub accounts or anything like that. And you won't have to redo this at any point in the future. Makes things so much easier. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start getting connected with OAuth. Okay, so we're gonna connect to high level via OAuth API V2 is what they call it. And again, if you see me click a button, I highly, highly, highly suggest, not even for funsies here, but it'll make your life significantly easier if I push a button that you didn't, that you just reset and do the whole thing here. And again, if you're on the 97 plan of high level, we'll have something separate for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect to high level. All right, and we have all these, which is just saying connect to your agency. Click allow access to all sub accounts, which allows us to deploy the AI in your sub accounts. It doesn't mean the AI is deployed immediately in all sub accounts. It's just saying that we can. And then allow future installation. This is huge because as you onboard clients, you don't have to do this again. So this is just saying any sub accounts that you add in the future, whether it be for testing, whether it be for clients, that you don't have to go through this process again. Uh, if you click that, I promise you, you never have to touch this again. I never have to touch this. Um, and I know that like clicking through these is, is super, super easy, uh, but I promise you it'll save you a heartache. This is not for funsies. This is to save you time in the future. Uh, so we'll just click through all these and then we'll be brought to a high level OAuth page here. Now, before we get click happy, you'll see your sub accounts and you see your agency. We need to click on the agency because that's what allows us to divvy out sub accounts for you. Again, we don't deploy in all of them. We only deploy in the ones that you want us to, right? Super, super easy. If you do click sub account, we may have to go through a process of hard resetting OAuth just because it's connected at a sub account level. Sub accounts can't manage agencies, so we connect an agency. Now, if you do not see an agency, two things. All right, go to app gohighlevel.com because you may have a white labeled link or you may be on lead connector or something like that 
go to the root domain of gohighlevelapp.gohighlevel.com, log in there, just reset cookies and cash real quick, even if it's just for that site, and your agency should pop up. <clears throat> now, if it doesn't and you do that, just try in an incognito browser, same thing, it'll pop up, if not, right, because the cookies and, and all are fresh. Just log into app.gohighlevel.com to access your agency, and then log into your workspace on Assistable. And we're going to click on the agency here. And then we're going to allow access to all sub accounts, and then we're going to enable automatic feature installation. Again, this doesn't mean that the AI is just going to go into all sub accounts and be ready today. We understand as an agency, you're probably using this as a service offering. So it's just saying that we can divvy out sub accounts for you as far as like AI, right? Uh, and then if you add a sub account in the future, we can connect to it again. Clicking these two things will save you a ton of time down the road. Again, this is supposed to be really easy, really scalable. If you click these two things right here, I promise you, promise you, promise you, you never have to touch this portal. Again, I promise you. So let's go ahead and proceed. And we'll be taken back to high level here. Now, if you're logged into Assistable AI slash dashboard, you'll be brought to what is our gray label domain, our root domain. So the same way you're able to white label go high level, put your domain on it and they have a root domain of app.gohighlevel or lead connector, we have create assistance. And it's meant to just kind of add an extra layer of gray label, white label. You'll be brought back to a createassistance.com page. If you are not logged into createassistance.com, you'll be asked to just use your traditional, your login credentials, and you'll be brought to this right here. Super, super easy. Okay, so once we're logged in, we're brought back to this page right here. You'll see your agency account, your workspace account here. Let's go ahead and click connect on that. We'll see our access token has been generated and that means we are good to go. And again, if you did not click on the allow access to future sub accounts, all that, again, just is supposed to make your life super, super easy. Just reset connection, follow all the steps I did there and you should be good to go. All right, half the battle is done. That's the hardest part. You never have to touch it again if you did those steps right there. That's the last time you have to see it. All right, and we just need to take our custom menu link here. We're given a unique custom menu link. We're gonna copy that. All right, you can click copy, whatever you wanna do there. And then we are going to hop over into Go High Level, this tab right here. Now, just for fun, if you see, if I refresh this page here, I'm gonna refresh my Go High Level. You should see the Marketplace account in there. Super fun, if I click here, easy enough, right? Super fun. Uh, so now that we have our custom menu link, we're going to go, so I'm in the agency right here. I'm not in the sub account. I'm in the agency. I'm going to click on settings. Let's go high level load. And then about midway down right here, you should see custom menu link. Let's click on that. And then again, fresh agency. We don't have any. You may already have some, but we're just going to create a new one here. So link icon can be whatever you want robot is traditional right you can name it whatever you want whatever you name it will show up as an action over here for your client so if I'm um, if I'm Rocket League right if that's my agency name I can call it Rocket League AI I can just call it AI assistance I can call it whatever I want here I'm just gonna name it something general and then I'm gonna paste that custom menu link exactly as I see it here no modification to this again the whole idea of scalability, we use a variable so that you only have to do it once. You never have to touch it again, right? Super, super easy. Uh, just leave that as, as, as exactly as we give it, and you'll be good to go. Now, you may even have a white label domain, which we'll get into here in a bit. <clears throat> but just like with high level, how their root domain is probably the strongest when it comes to DNS and everything like that for loading, createassistance.com is going to be the strongest for your custom menu link. It's our root domain. So it'll be the most reliable, best connection, everything like that. You can use a white label domain if you want, but again, always best just to kind of stick with your clients won't see this. And even if they do, it's a gray label domain. If you go to this website, it's just a landing page. Now, the agency account does not have a location ID and we are deploying AI into sub accounts, right? So we do not need this here on the agency sidebar. However, I have seen people put their workspace URL as a separate custom menu link for their agency, but we don't have to overcomplicate it today. So we're just gonna show, we're gonna turn off show link on agency sidebar because we're just worried about our accounts. Now, uh, we're gonna keep this on and then I'm gonna keep this on, but if you have multiple sub accounts now, 
Uh, remember, this is divvied out by a custom menu link. So if you want to scale your deployment right, you can turn that off and just select who gets to see it and who doesn't. Super easy. I'm even going to do that right here. All right, you can keep this here. In fact, all these other ones, uh, not super, super ideal. They work, but again, clients can see things like the URL. The iframe hides the URL quite well. So we're going to keep opening an iframe inside the platform. And then I turn these on because we are going to get voice cloning and things in the future. Um, so I allow microphone and allow camera for things like future support ideas and voice cloning, things like that. But you don't have to turn these on. All right, we're looking good. Robot, link name, whatever you want it to be. Our custom menu link exactly as we copied it from our workspace. We're not showing it on the agency sidebar. The agency doesn't have a location ID. We're deploying AI actionably into accounts that can start to talk, right? We can't do that in an agency account. And then we're either showing to all of ours or we're just divvying out by who, who we want to see it. This is how we divvy it out here. All right, let's go ahead and save that. And the hard part really is done. So now uh, from the idea of the workspace, we've connected OAuth, we've done it you know, fully and correctly. We never have to touch that again. We now have a custom menu link with our variable inside of it so that we can scale this to any account that's inside of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our sub account and we're going to click on the custom menu link. Super, super fun. All right, so just a visual. You don't have to click off of this like I do. Uh, but in clients, I don't have any clients here. It's a fresh sub account, uh, or fresh uh, workspace account. Nothing in here yet, right? But when I go to, so let's say Create Assistance V2 here, and this one has been used in the past under, um, I may have connected it to one of these. This has been used in the past for, for testing, so there may be some conversations in here, but you should just see it raw. Um, in fact, I'll show you this right here, hold on. All right, so we're in our sub account here. So Create Assistance V2, which is a sub account. You now see this new little menu item here. Super fun, that's how this thing works. Super scalable, super easy, just blends in with the rest of your stuff. You now have AI that you can give to your clients in a white labeled way, right? We'll click on this right here which will create the account and it will go ahead and connect your OAuth for you. There's nothing you need to do. Uh, you may see some warnings here, but you can go ahead and just click through those. No big deal, right? Easy enough. And so now when we go back here, and we refresh the page, we should see our new client in here. One second, this is a dev environment. It's tied to another account. Give me one second. Okay, easy enough. I just had to untie it from a, a development environment that we have. Uh, but we'll go ahead and click into here. And we'll see what it's going to do is it's going to go in here. It's automatically going to create the account for you. It's going to go ahead and connect it via OAuth and you should be good to go. So now if we come here, we see that we're connected to high level. Uh, we have our sub account here. We have all of the metrics attached to it. Super, super easy. That's all it is. And now every account creation, especially if you click those two radio buttons, allow access to sub accounts and future sub accounts, this is all you'll ever have to do is click on the custom menu link. That's it. We create the account for you. We connect it via OAuth on the back end. Nothing you have to do. It's just important that first step of connecting to OAuth and the custom menu link and you're done, right? I can go create a new sub account right now, do the same thing. The same thing will happen. We'll connect to high level to create the account for me. Now, as an agency, I can manage it here in, in my, my workspace, um, but we'll just go back here to confirm and we can see some conversations perhaps that have been in here. Yep, because uh, this is an older account. But now that this is connected, any conversation that you have will go ahead and uh, begin to get collected by AI to start learning about you and your, your clients, who you're talking to, your leads, um, and all your conversations will show up there pretty easy, right? So that's how you get it connected. That's how you get the portal in there. It is a like sub account portal. It's supposed to be really, really scalable, super, super easy. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna give you a tour of both the admin portal, which is your workspace, and the client portal, which is what we're looking at right now, and the differences between the two, okay? And for the 97 folks, I'm gonna show you how to connect the sub account. Super, super easy. It just requires one extra step. You can't connect at the agency level. Um, but I'll show you how to do it. So that's how you get started, connect to OAuth, and then get your custom menu link in there to go ahead and start deploying AI. This is production ready and go ahead and start creating stuff and I'll go ahead and start collecting my conversations and it's good to go. I'll show you that in a later video, but I'm gonna give you a tour 
after this video in a separate video. And for the 97 folks, I'll have something for you too. Hope that's helpful.